Tucked away in the suburbs of Tripoli, on Lebanon's northern coast, was a neighborhood with a name both cruel and crude, the Slum of Slaves. Here, descendants of African immigrants lived amid pronounced decay and recurring violence. Few people from outside the area would dare to visit. People were divided and frustrated in here. The city just ignored us. We were invisible and on our own. We had nothing. That, it turned out, was just the kind of challenge for a new breed of youth activist in Lebanon. Since 2007, USAID, the U.S. Agency for International Development and its Office of Transition Initiatives, has been encouraging young people to become more engaged citizens, to challenge the status quo, do it peacefully, and make something better. Youth already knew how to fight. They knew how to break things. They knew how to destroy things. They did not know how to work together to build things. In the Tripoli area, the project provided a three-month intensive workshop teaching leadership and communication skills, how to assess community needs and implement effective solutions. Then, this group decided to put their training to use. They mobilized a kind of restoration brigade and headed for that troubled neighborhood. Joining forces with young people who live here, they set out to do something unheard of on these streets. We're doing this because these people need us. And in this area, no one helps them. So they need, they need us to get their life improved. Up and down the narrow alleyways, they began putting a new face on homes more than 90 years old. We learned how to think in a modern way, how to pursue what is right. The project taught us we can dream and make those dreams come true. It took them almost two weeks, working 11 hours a day under a hot Lebanese sun. They even installed outdoor lighting so girls could walk safely at night. Finally, their job was done, almost. The neighborhood had a new look, but it still had that old name slum of slaves. It's important to send a message to everyone else that these people need to have their respect. And we, we wanted to be a part of this. We wanted to be a part of giving these people their self-confidence again. The youth delegation took the fight directly to the mayor and other municipal leaders until finally the city agreed to give the neighborhood a fitting name. The young people proposed it be called freedom place. They had a lot of impact. They are young, they are energetic, they are enthusiastic, and certainly USAID, they give them a push, very good push. The people living in this area gained greater community pride. With the efforts of the young people, everything here has changed. Today, one year later, many of those who came here to work come back to visit. The area is not only cleaner, it's safer. No doubt this project helped us. And the proof is the number of young people who work together, who did not live in this neighborhood. They came from outside, and they were determined to help us. This has created new harmony and openness among the young of this area. We now talk to each other. We understand each other. It's allowed us to join hands. <laughs>